A ticket aboard the Titanic? Someone is determined to recreate that journey. And to tell us about it, ABC's John Donvan. The original Titanic, the unsinkable ship that sank first time out. A scene reenacted in the movies more than once. Most notably with Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet going overboard. But that Titanic was a Hollywood Titanic, much of it the visual output of a computer program. This, however, is Titanic 2, the remake of the actual ship, full scale, by this man. I'm funding this myself, because I, I want to spend the money I've got before I die. Clive Palmer is an Australian billionaire for whom building a second Titanic is a long-time dream, which he is paying some $500 million to make happen, especially to ensure that it comes off, well, remarkably like the old one, matching what was then with what will be the next time Titanic sails. That will be, he hopes, sometime in 2016 with the boat building carried out in China. Of course, given what happened to the first Titanic, is it tempting fate to send a second one out to sea? Palmer does not think so. And one of the benefits of global warming has been there isn't so many icebergs in the North Atlantic these days. <laughs> Neither would the most famous Titanic survivor of all, Molly Brown. According to her great-granddaughter, she would be first in line for a ticket to Titanic 2. Probably because she never finished the voyage, and she always loved to finish what she started. At least Molly Brown would recognize the place, although maybe not the ticket price, some of which may go for as much as a million dollars for the best cabins on the first voyage of the second Titanic. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington.